and uh, there's no clickbait at all. But you might be thinking to yourself, didn't these bras just already make this video? And the answer is yes. That, but that was four years ago when we first started this channel. To sum that video up, we used an old homebrew trick. That was Maury's trick. Crank up your PSI to 30, shake your corny cake for 300 seconds, or just set a timer for five minutes so you don't have to count to 300. Purge the tank, set it back to 12 PSI, and you're drinking in about 20 to 30 minutes. I think it worked out for the majority of the people, but we do get like a comment every now and then. Somebody will say that uh, their beer is overcarbonated for whatever reason. Maybe they shook it too long, they didn't turn the regular back down from 30 to 12, or they didn't bleed it off. I don't know. But I was at my local watering hole the other night and I ran into this brage, a fellow home brewer, and in which we exchanged forced carbonation tips. He was talking about one in which you did not have to shake. He told me he got this ball lock contraption for $25 on Amazon. I immediately went home, Amazoned it, looked it up, and I bought it and it actually came the next day. It's just this little corny cake lid that's got a couple extra things to it. It's coming from China, kind of skeptical, but I don't know why this guy would lie to me. So it's time to figure out if this thing's the real deal or if it's a Fugazi. It's a fake. Yeah, Fugazi, Fugazi. All right, so let's open this beast up. Very nice, compact packaging. So as you can see, it's got a ball lock lid with a gas in post connected to the top right next to the pressure release valve. Here's a hose that doesn't look long enough. No, okay, we're good, it's long enough. Let me know in the comments section if I need to buy new shoes. Here's the key to the city right here. Keep in mind this tutorial covers everything outside of just beer, including water, mead, sangria, cider, or anything else your little heart desires. And then two hose clamps. For $25, this seems like one heck of a product so far, but we still gotta see if it works. I recommend using gloves when dealing with diffusion stones since the oils from your hands can clog these micro holes. Gloves will preserve the shelf life of these products. I'm gonna set this up all over my star sand mixture. Setup's as easy as you can imagine. Just use the hose to connect the lid to the diffusion stone and then fasten with the hose clamps. Then we're gonna submerge it in star sand. Now I'm gonna connect it to my uncarbonated hazy IPA by just dropping it in the keg and fastening the lid, business as usual. Here's what it looks like. It's about another half inch in height, but it's all good since it still fits in my keg grater. I brought it back out because I forgot to check it for leaks. It's good to go and then I turned on the CO2 for 10 PSI. Now we play the waiting game. Time to go. Boom, 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 boom. Today we're getting drunk. Today we're getting drunk off love. It's absolutely perfect. It's perfect. I was actually drinking it at the intro to this whole video. And I was only gone for about four or five, maybe six hours. We played 18 holes, had a beer at the end at the Tap In Tavern, and this is delicious, and it's a perfectly carbonated beer. Every sip, you just fall in love with it all over again. You're not drinking in 20 minutes, but you're also not waiting a day or a week to let it fully carb. But you also have peace of mind that you're not gonna overcarb it. And uh, I highly vouch for this product, and I'm finally stoked because we had to scrap last week's YouTube video, and we we try not to scrap videos, but sometimes we just have to, and you would know about this if you were subscribed to the Hoppy Hour, which is a live stream every Wednesday night. 